Gene Segura leads off. Tyler McGill set to go. His first pitch of the night is a fastball up and away for ball one. And we're they've mixed and matched in that leadoff spot for the Phillies this year. And he swings and misses at a fastball, and it's one and one. 90 golf home run in Philadelphia. This is his 39th game against. And McGill doing nothing but fastballs. Get third in the National League in runs per game. 2 2 coming. And he fouls that one away. And again, McGill worked that Ronnie helped set in 1988. Slash down the first baseline foul. So a six straight fastball. This will be the seventh pitch of this opening at bat to Segura. And it's pulled on the ground as he threw the changeup. Throw across the diamond by Escobar and gets Segura by a stride. And that's the first out of the. Every once in a while, that'll get in the hitter's eyes. Just for a minute or two at this time of the evening. And McGill. Popped up behind first base. Long run for Marte coming toward the line, and it lands just foul. On deck, three infielders now move to the left side. And slider off the plate, one and two. His power fall off this April. It's happened across the sport. Another slider out of the strip of the year. And the Phillies didn't look really close to being in sync. Ground ball into the shift. Nice easy hop for Lindor to handle. And he throws out Hoskins two away. Two batters, two gift on against Harper. So we'll see if he jumps the first one here. And he does, and he fouls it off. 52% of the time he's swinging at the first pitch. There's his aggressiveness at that first pitch. And he foul tips one on an inside fastball from McGill, and it's 0 and 2. McGill ahead 0 and 2. Foul back. 97 on that fastball from Tyler. 19 year old with the Nationals. Bounces that change up to McGill. 1 2 for McGill. And Harper lifts one to center field. Playable for Nimmo. And Brendan makes the catch to retire the side. McGill. New one. It's a new one for us. Nick Castellanos takes curveball outside from Tyler. Probably played the outfield more than the Phillies. Castellanos, Realmuto, and Schwarber for the Phillies. And that one sails high, and it's 3 0. Castellano. And a good series against the Mets in Philly went 5 for 11. And it takes a fastball strike, 3 1. Castellanos. And he slashes one foul, 3 2. McGill mostly attack hitting team. 3 2 coming. And he got him looking at a fastball. Castellanos obviously. There's JT Real Muto. And he takes a fastball for a strike. So McGill just. 24 pitches, 17 fastballs so far. And there's another one up and away. This is with the slider, and it's two and one. That one by Real Muto, two and two, but cognizant of the fact that McGill may need to some extra days off here. Mm. I mean, if all had gone according to spectacular. Seventh pitch of the at bat, and Real Muto reaches for the slider and fouls it off. Eighth pitch of the at bat. And that's hit in the air to left over toward the line comes Canna and he runs it down. But obviously the Mets know full well which Schwarber is capable of. As McGill throws a fastball by. Mm. Up and in a ball and a strike. Well Daryl's in the house. Straw, his man. I mean <laughs> he could have a tux on you know who it is. I mean few people in this world are more readily identified. One two coming to Schwarber up and in. So McGill working full shift against Schwarber with McNeil playing in the outfield. And that went off the fists of foul ball. Well Daryl was in Eden. Done Eden. <laughs> and Schwarber just got a piece of that slider. He would have chased him to the pitches already to three batters in this inning for McGill. And he goes to the changeup and it just missed full count to Schwarber. 
The third changeup he's thrown in the first two innings. Got to give Schwarber credit here. This is a real good battle at bat for him. Make you work. He's thrown a lot of walks over his career. And the breaking ball just missed. He did something, uh, Gary, that you don't see young hitters do. 452 with runners. He's been very productive early in the year. Wasn't getting a chance to play every day early on. They had Bryson stop. And Boom takes the slider outside, two and one. Right center field, on comes Nimmo, and he gets there to run it down. Ball held up just long enough. For seven games in six days. Tall buildings. Leap, leap those tall buildings <laughs> in a single bound. D.D. Gregorius slashes one foul. D.D. hitting eighth in the order. They've got Sardi sitting 311, including that big hit he had against the Mets in Philadelphia. He breaks his bat and flares one to McNeil. And that's the first out. Already this year in center field, trying to figure out who belongs there. Mickey Moniak, their former first round pick, was supposed to back in 2019, missed all of 20. And then it was surprising to a lot of people to start against the Phillies the last game of the series a few weeks ago. Well, we know one pitcher won't be back. Well, it was also the first time that there was no negotiated penalty as Herrera strikes out, and he would have got awarded first base. Now Gene Segura chases a slider. A close 3 2 pitch in the second. And Segura lines one to center. On comes Nimmo. Diving and he made the catch. Nimmo with a split. And spend the whole, you know, an afternoon there. It's you ever climbed up? I have. Who grounded out to short his first time up, facing Tyler McGill to start the fourth. And Tyler works him away with a fastball, one and one. First time up, McGill kept. And goes away with a slider and falls behind three and one. And Hoskins takes one for a strike. And McGill quotation. That's of one each of his first four starts. Hoskins turns one foul. For a lot of deep counts so far in this game. Another one here to Hoskins. Who gets under one to left field. Canna should have plenty of room. One out. Let's see. That's but the full shift on against Harper with McNeil about 20 feet into the outfield. He gets this one in the air to right center. Angling in is Nimmo with Marte. And Marte takes charge of it. Two out. Including Castellanos looking at a fastball on a 3 2 pitch is for. Field. Nimmo's playing him to right center. Shifty business. <laughs> Just away. Two balls. Nothing on the ground since for McGill. And he misses down with a changeup. And it's three of this game for McGill. And he does swing and hits it into the shift. And Lindor is right there to sweep it up and throw out Castellanos. So McGill with a one, two, three. The wrap up show on Sunday night when we're not doing the broadcast. I think that was really cool of the NFL to arrange it just around Steve's in the fifth inning. He flied out the left his first time up. And a good high fastball from McGill. Here, led by McGill. Inside two and two. Five straight opening days now for the Phillies. And he gets Leo Muto to chase. Good slider by McGill for his third strike. Wait them out and attack them the same way next time out. And James McCann was saying, you know, when it comes to, to pitching, that's pro act run or, or scorch a ball. He said it's much more subtle second time around. So let's say that you attack the guy with the changeup, got him out with it to make that adjustment. But until the hitters adjust, you attack them the same way. Yeah, that that's uh, that's a truism right there. Braves now, right? Or will he? Um, he will get. Oh, he will. Yeah. You know, okay. Get him on Wednesday in the last game against the Braves. McGill behind him again, three and one. 
And it comes inside and misses for ball four. So Schwarber has been the only man to reach. Boom fly to center his first time. And he takes a fastball up and away. And he's been missing glove side. Yes. Yes. No. Back before anybody was doing pitch counts, Mel Stottlemyre had the little clicker in his hand and he'd click it every time. One and one to Bohm. And he tries to dot that outside corner but misses again. It's two and one. 75. <laughs> There goes Schwarber. The pitch is low. McCann's throw is not in time. Schwarber hopped off the base momentarily, but McNeil couldn't keep the tag on him, and Schwarber sneaks a stolen base time. Two and two the count on Bohm. And he takes strike three call that time. McGill was able to hit the outside corner that had been eluding him throughout the inning. He gets second. Here's Gregorius. Gregorius was sawed off and hit a soft liner to McNeil. And indeed, he has to move his feet. Uh, a change up that road in. Key over holding Schwarber close. Mm. Just making sure he knows where he is. Another change up the gunning. Again, another 3 0 swing time. That one's on the corner. Perfect fastball for a strike. Three on. Oh, ran that one on the hands of Didi and he fouled it off. Three and three two coming to Didi. Up and away ball four. And so the Phillies have two men on. Sex done with runners in scoring position this year. And Herrera takes a fastball for a strike. High leverage guy. <laughs> Other upstairs foul. O2 coming to Herrera. Struck him out. McGill goes upstairs to. <laughs>